Hello and welcome to the fourth video of Introduction to MCMP. Today we are about to talk about simple geometrical configurations. Simple jump, something like let's say sphere containing box at the center and with some sort of a slab vertical. Let's know this in a different color for specifying different materials like that. We have in here. Water we have in here uranium and also in here and this lab is a void, it's an empty void. But its importance is one, which means that the neutron coming out or whatever the end particle coming out from this region going to this region, I'm interested in it. That's where I'm not interested. Let's see this sphere has a radius of 50 centimeters and this cube centered around the region has side length of 20 centimeters. And it's a cube, and let's say this thickness equal 10 centimeter. This is located at x on negative 30. Then let's start our problem. Now we have to find our problem. Let's start our code. First of all, what surfaces do we need? Which means that I'm talking about surface code. Uh, first of all, I need a sphere. So I need a sphere of radius 50 centimeters and give it number 100. Then I have to make the box. The box, let's give it 200. It consists of six planes. Any box consists of six planes. Like that. That's XY plane x, y view and that is x, z view. Therefore I have here two planes perpendicular on the x-axis so px and you said that it's, its side length is 20 centimeters centered about the origin therefore px at positive 10 and px at negative 10. Also I have two planes perpendicular on the y-axis therefore I have here py positive 10 y negative 10 which means here x at 10 x at negative 10, py 10, py negative 10. Here, the more information I get from this is the pz. I have you pz at 10 and also and also pz at At negative 10, which is here, is at 10, is at negative 10. Then I have to describe the slab. The slab is surrounded by my sphere. It's in here. Okay, then I need two planes perpendicular on the x axis, assuming that. This is the x-axis, this is z-axis, 
so it's a little bit weird this is the y-axis therefore those two planes are perpendicular on the x-axis the four and two other planes perpendicular on the, on the z on the x-axis here at negative 30 its thickness is 10 centimeters so here negative 40 or px at negative 30 and px at negative 40. What I've just done is that I've described the surfaces that I need to make the geometrical configuration of my problem. And let's see the circle. To describe the positions, all of these surfaces are 2D. To describe the certain position, let's see. How many ways can I describe this problem? Actually, I can describe this problem in many ways. But let's see the joint configuration itself. How about if I can describe this thing, this cube, and this slab, and then I say the rest of the sphere is from other material. At last, it's just a sphere containing different materials. Then, let's describe the box. To describe the box, we have first cell number, material number, which are we using the data card, material density. Let's make this material, material density and then the position. The position here px10 moving to the negative direction then here negative here the positive direction therefore I'll need um, negative 200 intersection with positive 210 then I have limited my areas between the two planes, plane 200 and plane 210. Regarding Y, this is the negative direction of the Y, this is the positive direction of the Y. Therefore, I need 200, negative 220 and positive 230. Then I have limited my Q between plane 200 and 210 also between 220 230 regarding the z axis this is the negative direction of the z axis this is the positive direction of the, of the z axis therefore I'll need a negative 240 also positive 250 And also, importance of neutrons equal one. This is the importance. Okay, then I describe the this this box and call it cell one. Okay, how about this slab? Regarding this slab, this slab. We said it's a void material, but its importance is one, so it, and so it won't terminate the history in this slab. We want it to terminate the history outside the sphere, so the neutron coming out from this region can reach this region. Then, void, therefore, it has no material number, it concludes that it has no material density, and then we have to look for its surfaces. The surfaces forming the void be 300 and 310. 300 and 310. Let's see. This is 300 at negative 30. And this is 310. This is the negative direction of 300. 
and this is the positive direction of 310 therefore it will be negative 300 and also positive 310 now what I've just done is that I've drawn an infinitely long slab what I need now is to tell you that the slab only ends with the sphere therefore negative 300 intersection with positive 310 intersection with negative 100 100 we said that it's a sphere of radius 50 centimeters and then its importance of neutron equal 1 what I've just done is that I told him that into in that negative 300 positive 310 intersection with the radius of the sphere so it ends at the edge of the sphere then at last we said for that we can describe this problem by describing these two objects and say the rest of it is um, is uh, another material the rest of the sphere is another material therefore cell 3 will have material let's say 10 negative 18 and obviously it's inside the sphere negative 100 and then hash card is introduced hash 1 without cell 1 intersection with without cell 2 and importance of neutron equal obviously it's seen that here when we use the hash card we use the hash card with cells not surfaces so I exclude a complete cell not a surface and then the void part which is outside 100 mm, importance of neutrons equal 1 then we have this is cell 2 and this is cell 3 okay then let's see such example let's first complete the data card we have to define material 10 which is um, I put it like uh, uranium 235 completely uranium and then material 11 which is uh, water like 1001 0.67 atomic fraction and 8016 0.33 atomic fraction we are talking with percent and then we have defined something called light water treatment or heavy water treatment or whatever this goes the MCMP not to treat hydrogen and oxygen as a free gas no it treats it as water because neutron in the thermal region feeds the combinations between molecules and then blah 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 the rest that I want to calculate let's see what we have just done on the visual earth There is example one and voila. Let's see the colors. Let's see the number of the cells. One, three, three, and two. Also four is the void. Let's see our input and script. Our input title card, simple geometrical configuration. One this is the cell number 11 is the material num uh, is the material number and negative 1 is the material density 200 210 negative 220 230 negative 240 250 to describe the box here are the surfaces used to describe the box in cell 1 here it is then in cell 2 
Let's describe this empty slab with importance equal to 1. Therefore, negative 300, 310, because it's the negative direction of the x-axis and the positive direction of the x-axis regarding the 300, surface 310. Uh, let's move it much more easier if you just did that. Show you the surface number on the plot is 300. We're going to the negative direction to describe cell 2, 310. We're going to the positive direction to describe cell 2. And also, it's edged by surface 100, which is the sphere. Then, the last, uh, the last important cell is the cell 3, which have material 10, which is uranium 235, density of negative 18, negative 100, which is inside the sphere, and without cell 1, without cell 2. And then cell 4, which is the void cell with zero importance. Okay, let's see what happens if we, let's say, deleted this 100. Make it hash 1, hash 2. What will happen then? Let's modify it in here. Let's delete this object and see what happens. That's what happens. Cell 2 is not well defined. That's why this red line appears. Cell 2 is not well defined and cell 3 is defined. Uh, sorry, not cell, it's not cell 2 is not the one which is well defined. Cell 3 is not well defined. Because hash 1, hash 2, it's okay. Related to cell 2, it's edged with surface 100. Where is surface 100 in cell 3? There is no surface 100. Okay, then let's remove surface 100 from cell 2 and see what happens. My guess is that surface 100 is that the red line of the sphere will be completely gone, but still I'm scrambling wrong. Ah, still there. Ah, it's still there because of this. Because it's out of 100, so surface 100 is still there. But then, surface 2, again, infinitely long slab. Then let's remove surface 100 from there and let's make it using hash card, hash 1, hash 2, hash 3. Let's remove that surface 100. Hash 1, hash 2, hash. Three. Hash one to shape intersection has two hash two intersection hash three. Let's see what do we have here. Perfectly right material, but there is no Void. Although you're making yourself a void. That's why it's important verification and validation of your model. You've made the sphere, you've made the slab, but you haven't made the sphere. So your model is wrong, so your results are wrong. Thank you very much.